Hello everyone, this is Sherman here from TechOS, and today I'm going to be giving you a review of a Mac app. Now this is an app called Focused, and it retails for 36 US dollars, which is around 28 pounds here in the UK. And unlike most Mac apps, this one requires you to go to the developer's website, where you can purchase the a license for the software, and then you can download it as an application file, which you can then obviously go ahead and install. I'll leave a link to where you can purchase and download it in the description of the video, so check that out if you're interested in it and it's compatible with OS 10 El Capitan or later so OS 10 El Capitan or Mac OS Sierra so it's it's um, fully ready for Mac OS Sierra so you have any compatibility issues now focused is basically an app designed to help you concentrate on what you're writing so this is particularly useful for something such as drafting articles for say a website where perhaps you might not need all of the functionality of a full word processing application like pages so it's sort of like text edit but has extra functionality which makes it unique so obviously I'll go through these extra functionalities but if I go and open the app I've just got it in my dock here and I'll just be greeted with the very clean minimalistic writing interface which has absolutely no buttons on it so very simple again getting started with this whole theme of helping you concentrate on this writing so one thing you will notice is the quotation right in the middle of the writing area now this disappears when you start writing but that's there to help motivate you whilst you're thinking about what to write but if you don't want to have that there I'll show you how you can remove it later on in the video so keep watching another thing which you've may notice is that the window controls at the top are not present now if I move my mouse to the top you'll see they appear again so I've got my standard Mac Mac OS uh, controls for Windows and I've got my uh, file name and I can obviously go ahead and change that if I want to save it but you'll notice as I move my mouse slowly down they start to grey out, they lose their colour and eventually start fading out and disappear so a very clean minimalistic way of writing again sticking with that theme of keeping you focused as the app's name suggests now I'm actually just going to paste some dummy lorem ipsum text here just to uh, use for demonstration purposes so you can see how text looks in the app and now I'm going to go through the formatting options that come with the app obviously there won't be as many as something like pages because it's not meant to be a fully blasted word processing application but it's got some extra functionality functionality in here so if I move my mouse over to the right you'll see these three icons appear so first one is the text options so I can choose the at the top here background color so I can have the standard white I can have a sort of uh, parchment or beige type color depending on what you want to call it or I can have a completely dark theme so this may be useful if you're writing at night so I'll just keep it with the standard white for now and below you've got the fonts now there are only a few to pick from here many obviously it's not meant to be fully loaded like pages but you just get a few that you might want to choose here I'll just stick with focus pro which is the standard one that you uh, initially use. Uh, you can choose to have responsive layout so this will adapt the text as you're typing so it will just move automatically. Let me just untick that and you can either use the responsive layout or choose these manual options so I can make the text smaller or larger depending on what I want. Let me just keep it medium for now and I can change the position of the text so I can have it aligned to the right, justified or I can have it centralized. So that's the text options, so very simple. Below that we've got the reader option, or the preview option, I think it is. There you go, preview your documents. So if I tap on that, it basically goes into the reader view, similar to in Safari, where you can visit the reader view uh, on web pages which have loads of text. So here I'm not able to edit stuff. I can highlight things and, uh, you know, all the standard stuff, but I can't edit it. So this is just meant to be for previewing your text once you've written. So let me just exit out of that and it just goes back to the typing mode. And below that we've just got the share option, so I can copy as HTML so this is one of the other features of the app it will actually read your text and just convert it into HTML which you can then go ahead and paste into a website you're working on or any other um, form which you'd like to use HTML for and then you just get the other standard options airdrop notes mail and any other third-party apps which you've got installed so that's the text writing area covered it's very simple as I've been uh, saying and it's designed just to help you get on with what you're doing now I'm going to show you the menu bar items so we've got file at the top here which is just a standard opening saving uh, exporting options and you can print as well if you want to so there's nothing too special there next we've got edit which uh, has basically everything as normal as you'd expect in most apps apart from obviously you've got the copy as HTML option which is a uh, you know an exclusive feature of this application. Next, we've got format, so we've got a few different options there. And below, we've got some heading and body presets, so you can choose them. 
you can also add a link or add image references uh, so it does have that functionality built in next we have view and it has show fonts or show preview so again those text options which i showed you earlier and then you can enable preview through here as well and you get the keyboard shortcuts uh, down the side as well on the format as well you get so you can access them quickly you can toggle information and what this does is in the top right hand corner of the window it displays your word count so as you can see here I've done 69 words and if I just tap on that or click on it it will cycle through showing characters and words nothing at all or just words so you can choose depending on what you want we just go and uh, untoggle that clicking on it and uh, that just, uh, we've got enable paragraph focus and sentence focus so let me just enable sentence focus now the idea behind this is that everything else apart from the sentence you're working on gets grayed out it doesn't completely disappear it just gets grayed out and the one that you're working on stays in the color so here black now if I start typing something else so the dog was running and add a full stop you'll see everything else apart from that sentence got grayed out and again you can use the same for paragraphs so it will focus only on the paragraph you're using everything else will get grayed out so let me just disable sentence focus for now so we can see everything next we've got enable typewriter mode now typewriter mode moves everything to the center and as you add line breaks it actually moves everything up so similar to how a real typewriter when they were used worked so when you hit a line break on an old typewriter it would actually move the page up so this is a similar idea so if you want that sort of retro feel then you can have it so let me just add a few line breaks and you'll see it moves up as I add or as I'm pressing enter so there's just that option if you want to have that so just a nice touch to have you disable typewriter mode and as you can see everything goes back to the top uh, like that Next we've got show thin and static cursor so I can make the cursor thinner so it's just obviously less obtrusive uh, while you're writing I can show the fit cursor again static cursor it won't blink it'll just stay like that and then if I uh, show blinking cursor it'll continue blinking as it usually does in most other applications so that's the view set section done next we've got Zen mode now Zen mode is a mode which is full screen so Zen mode is basically the same as entering full screen on another application and what it does is it has music playback so it has a few I think about eight uh, different options or ten I think I'm not sure about that we'll check them out later in the video um, but it has these music or effects and they're just sort of subtle sounds they're not sort of their vocals or anything like that just some nice sounds which you can listen to whilst you're typing so again keeping you soothed and calm whilst you're typing that's the idea behind it so I have playback options I can play pause next or previous uh, soundtrack and I'm just going to make sure my volumes turned up so you can hear this if I enter Zen mode it's gonna make the app go full screen and it's gonna start playing this soundtrack so cycling through them so if I just tap and or click on enter Zen mode don't know whether you can hear that uh, but I'll try and turn it louder and I'll stop talking so you can hear it but you'll be able to hear that there's this uh, sort of background music being played so I've just muted it there but that's the idea with Zen mode so you can have full screen focus on what you're doing and have this sort of background music to keep you thinking and uh, keeping you calm. Let me just hit escape to go out of that. But that is Zen mode done. Now, finally, I'm just going to go through the preferences. So if I go to focused and preferences, this is where I can choose my default sound. So uh, if I put my volume up again, uh, I'm just going to play each of these sounds uh, one by one so you can hear them. I'll stop talking, obviously, so you can properly listen to them. But I've got eight different sounds here, and I can just choose whichever one's the default one for Zen mode. So let me just play them now.
So you get an idea of what all the different sounds are like. I'm not sure how long each of them lasts for, but I assume it will just replay them all on a loop. And yeah, that's the sounds covered. Now finally I've just got these three options down here, so you can play user interface sound effects. Now I don't know whether you could hear them whilst I was demoing the writing area features, but when you click on a few of the icons and play around with a few settings, you actually get some user interface sound effects, just a nice touch there, so you can turn those off if you find them a bit distracting. You can show the inspirational quotes or hide them, so if I untick this, this will obviously hide them. Uh, so that's how you can disable that feature which I showed you earlier. And you can choose whether you want to automatically enable Zen mode when you're full screen. So what this means is that when you enter full screen without going into Zen mode, so if I just uh, go here to this green icon and tap it, what uh, that set, what that preference will do is actually um, automatically kick the music in so it will start playing so you don't have to manually go later on and go to zen mode options so that's just a time saving feature so it'll automatically go enter zen mode and play the music when you hit the full screen button so you can turn that off if you don't want to have that enabled but that's it for this app review focused is a very nice app obviously helping you focus on your text without the full distraction of all the features in a full word processing application like pages uh, again just around 28 british pounds or 36 us dollars and i'll leave the link to where you can purchase and download it in the description of this video. If you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video or any general t Apple tech advice that you need then get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video. If you've got an app that you want to have reviewed then do let me know as well. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.